Hello and welcome to part one of this 6.3 kilometre Westminster sightseeing photo run. This one goes from Victoria Embankment to Big Ben. Okay, so let's go and start the first part of the route. There's six parts in all and this is the first part going from Big Ben to Embankment Station. Just a tiny bit more in the way of history. So we're really just going to be going along this route here. And this is a map from 1560. And you can see that we have Whitehall palaces, mainly all in this particular section. And then we go past Scotland Yard, which was where the Scottish kings had their London residence. So this is a royal residence we can see in Whitehall. And just at the top left-hand corner, we can see Eleanor's Cross at uh, Charing Cross, which is now the site of King Charles I statue. You'll notice that on the south side, it would have all been marshland. If you look at this map from 1851, we can see the old Westminster Bridge, and we'll be starting at this particular point next to the Houses of the Parliament, which had just been constructed, and we'll be going along the front of Old Whitehall Palace, but this would have been all government buildings at this time, up until we get to Hungerford Bridge, which would have just been created to link the south side of the river to the north and Hungerford Market, which would have been here. And there's just a couple of other maps in here just to show you the difference in terms of how things have changed. So this real map, we're starting from this particular corner down in here, just going up. You can see how the buildings have increased between the two maps, but it's also this map shows you when we had the embankment Put in. If we compare the two maps, you can see that the River Thames had been squashed in. This enabled it to flow a lot quicker. It was able to get rid of all the effluent that was being put into the river more effectively. And we'd also had sewage systems added at this time, as well as the railway lines. Finally, this map shows where the embankment was currently laid. The ones in blue were the first phase, ones in red were the second phase. And you can also see that we've got the Houses of Parliament built in here, but you can also see where Tate Britain is. We also have Millbank Prison. And you may know that the British are sometimes referred to as POMs in Australia, which some people have said means prisoners of Millbank, because this was the main prison where they used to transport prisoners out to Australia. And here's a couple of pictures of Somerset House, which we'll see later on, as they're starting to build the embankment, and this is what it looked like when it was finished. OK, so now we're going to have a look at the route as if we were running it at speed. So a quick look at the map. We're just starting at this start and finish, and we're just really just going to go this first part of the blue part down to Embankment Station, so it's relatively simple. So if we show this going at speed, we start off facing Big Ben, and we go down the steps, and this is Victoria Embankment, we just go past the station and the places where you catch the boat. And then we just go up by the telephone boxes past the Norman Shaw building, which was old Scotland Yard. And we're going to have got to see New Scotland Yard just in front of us. And then when we get past the Battle of Britain Memorial, we go through that and cross the road. And then we go into the park right next to the Ministry of Defence buildings, where we've got a number of statues which chart a lot of these to do with the RAF at this particular point here. And then when we cross the road here, we'll be in Horse Guards Avenue. And there's an entrance that we go into Whitehall Gardens. And then we just follow this around. We have Horse Guards Hotel in front of us. There's Whitehall Place. And then when we get to the end, we'll be at Northumberland Avenue. As we go through onto Northumberland Avenue, we'll have the Golden Jubilee bridge to our right which we're going to go to later so we're just going to embankment station which is the end of the first part of this run okay so here's some of the sites that you'd see along that route between big ben and embankment station this map just shows you general sites along the way we'll just be touching on a few of those to help you navigate there's a 360 pictures here we're just outside big ben and we're going to start the route with the London Eye on our right hand side and we just go down Victoria Embankment. As we get down there, when we're basically opposite the, the Ministry of Defence building, as you can see we're swinging around, we've got the London Eye in front of us, we just basically cross the road. To the right hand side you'll see New Scotland Yard and that will bring us into the, the park next to 
the Ministry of Defence, we just go straight to the end and then we cross Horse Guards Avenue. As you can see, there's two buildings in front of us straight into the gardens here. And then we will have the Royal Horse Guards in front of us and we just go right to the end till we get to Northumberland Avenue. And then we'll just cross the road from Whitehall Gardens. So we've got the embankment place in front of us and the Playhouse Theatre to our right. And we just go towards there and then we'll just end up by the station. And uh, that's where we're going to start our next part of the run. But before we do that, we will show you some of the sites along the way. So at the start of the run, we have Westminster Bridge, which was built in 1750. It was the first bridge between here and London Bridge. As you can see, it's green, which represents the colour of the House of Commons. However, the bridge you see today dates back to 1862. We'll come back to Westminster Bridge later because we see it several times during this tour. The next we see is Portcullis House. Now we have a portcullis on the Houses of Parliament letterhead and this design is supposed to reflect that. It holds about a third of the members of Parliament and it was built in 2001 so it was sympathetic with the Houses of Parliament and the Norman Shaw building which is the old Scotland Yard on its right hand side. Now, if we look at the Norman Shaw building, this was called New Scotland Yard because if you remember earlier, we had an area in Whitehall where the Scottish kings had their residence. Now, when they moved out, the Metropolitan Police originally had their headquarters there and they still use some of it today for their horses. So Scotland Yard moved here in 1891 and it stayed there until about 1967 when it moved to Victoria and now it is back next door to this in Curtis Green which was opened in 2017. It's slightly ironic that when they were building this in 1888 they found a body of a woman and they'd never solved the case and it's known as the Whitehall Mystery. Also quite interesting that the very turrets at the top of this building is where the commander of the Metropolitan Police used to have his offices. The view of the South Bank with County Hall and the London Eye looks really good today, but it used to be a very industrial area. But now it has lots of entertainment there, so it's well worth a visit. Next we have the Battle of Britain Memorial. This was created in 2005 and opened by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. And it's there to commemorate the Battle of Britain, which took place between June and October in 1940. The actual sculpture is done by Paul Day and you'll also see another one of his works if you go to St Pancras and that is called The Meeting Place. This is quite an RAF type area because we have the RAF Memorial which was put up here in 1923 which represents the efforts of the Royal Air Force which had only just recently been established during the First World War. Now the MOD building was actually built on the Privy Gardens of Whitehall Palace, the private gardens of Whitehall Palace when Henry VIII was around, and includes within its design the wine cellars that were part of the palace that Henry VIII built. Now there's a lot of memorials in here to the Korean War, to Iraq and Afghanistan, but there's also quite a heavy influence on the RAF. So there's the Air Fleet R Memorial, which focuses on the flying corps that supports the Royal Navy, as well as we have Hugh Trenchard and Charles Portal, who are also influential in the RAF. Horse Guards Avenue, which we see here, just links embankment to the Horse Guards Parade. And halfway down, you see that there is a memorial to the Gurkhas, who have been an important part of the British Army since the 19th century. Whitehall Gardens was built as part of the Victoria Embankment in the 1875 and the building that you see in front contains the Liberal Club, Horse Guards Hotel as well as the Farmers Union. Now the hotel has only been there since about 1971 and it has links as you'd think in the name Horse Guards Hotel to the military as well as the government. As we hit Northumberland Avenue we see the Corinthia Hotel which when it was built in 1885 was called the Metropolitan Hotel. 
But it too has government links because it was requisitioned during both World War I and World War II and it has connections with spies and James Bond. This particular hotel, the Corinthia Hotel, was opened in 2011, so it's a great place to have Vesper Martinis. Across the road from that is the Playhouse that was built in 1882, originally called the Royal Avenue Theatre. This also has some great bands playing, such as Queen, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. If you look across the road next to Embankment Place, you'll see a small green hut. These are the cabman shelters. They came in in 1874. They were put up all over London through the endeavours of the Earl of Shaftesbury to make sure that the cabmen could get a hot meal because they weren't allowed to leave their carriages. But luckily we do have 13 still in place around London, worth looking out for, and this is one of them. The big building you can see above the Playhouse Theatre is the Embankment Place, which is basically the back of Charing Cross Station which is now offices and retail. But the place that we're going to go up next, the next part, is the Golden Jubilee Bridge stairs, as you can see on the right-hand side. And that will be the main place when we start part two.